Hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Today I feel like cooking our Filipino recipe and it's a rice cake. Well, it's actually called puto, but there's a, a bit of a different version. It's called puto pao. So what is puto? Well, puto is made of um, a rice flour, but today I'm going to just use normal cake flour and then uh, we'll use the simple ingredients that I have here in front of me. So let's check what ingredients do I have. So let's start with milk and um, eggs, sugar, flour, butter and water and of course puto pao means puto with meat filling. So I'm going to use some of this chicken that I have flaked and uh, seasoned with salt and pepper. Okay, let's begin. Using my salad master bowl, just dump everything, mix all the ingredients together. Okay. They're very easy. Put the egg. Bit of this is one tablespoon of butter, so I'll just put all the all the butter there. And then we will gradually add the water. Until this is finished. Now puto is served uh, well with um, coffee. <laughs> so if you're a coffee lover and then you are in the Philippines, better try our puto. Okay, here it is. So now this is ready to be poured in our um, mold. So what molder are we going to use? Let me just grab this, put this away. So today, I am going to use my Salad Master egg cups, which also has a, it comes with this one. Hope you can see that, okay? Which is where we're going to put the puto in. So first, uh, what I did, if you notice, every, every cup is greased with butter. So the melted butter, I just got a couple of them, like a few, and then just season them. Okay. So are we ready with this? I think this water, I did not put all the water. And let's use the Salad Master measuring cup to transfer the batter onto our egg cups. There. So convenient, isn't it? Oops. And so just pour it in. Okay. It's so good to have the lip, like a pouring lip. I'll just close this so keep the heat in 
intact. And yeah, look at this, so easy and convenient. No mess, no mess baking for everyone. So if you don't have a salad master measuring cup, um, give us a call if you want one of these because you can actually earn one of these easily, very easy. Mm. There I go. Oops, so let's put some more. Almost done. Okay. And then let's go and put some chicken in the batter. Just have to put some, a little bit, not too much. But if you want more, why not? Now, sometimes. Uh, people just want this as simple as just put cheese on top. You can do that too. Okay. Oops. I need a fork. Whatever suits you. Anyway, any leftover meat is actually nice. There. Let's put a bit more here. So that's our puto pao. And then, so let's put it inside. So for our Indian customers who are watching us today, um, this can be used for making your idli. Okay, so if you want to cook your idli in a better way, you can use this egg cups and it actually comes with that like the steaming um, plate so how are we gonna cook this so this will be cooked on medium heat and when the valve clicks we will just reduce the flame or heat and then we'll time it and cook it for a further uh, six to seven minutes okay six to seven minutes and we'll get back after that okay now, six minutes is finished. Let's see what this has become. Wow, look at that. Wow, turn off. So now we can turn off the heat, right? And you can see now the chicken is there. Ooh. So let this cool down a bit, okay? And uh, enjoy it with a cup of coffee. Okay, so we're gonna just put this on our chopping board. So this is called, uh, basically this one is a utility rack. So that's six egg cups with utility rack. That's one, um, one set of, of, of items okay, that you might want to have for your own kitchen. Okay? So put this here. And let's see how this looks like. Ooh, nice. Perfect. That's really good. So all you have to do is transfer it and then serve it with coffee. Look at that. Mm. Beautiful. So until then, guys, try this recipe and I'm sure you'll love it. Bye for now.